Hello everyone and welcome back to the final part of my Chesser Draws. So let's get cracking into it, quick do the old spill. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please leave me a comment down below of what you think of my Chesser Draws. And also give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. So let's go get cracking into it so you can see, you know, all the build up to the final part. All right. <music> I did do a bit of a time lapse of me doing this bit. I haven't done time lapses for it all. Um, I've been out in the garden today and we had a barbecue. Yeah, it was really nice. So it's about, what, what's the time? It's a quarter past nine in the evening. My husband's in the bath, so if you can hear like something in the background, he's, um, I think he's watching Sidemen or something on YouTube. He likes watching them, so they like do like reaction to like funny TikTok videos or something, and he likes to watch them. So, so if you can hear a noise in the back, that's most probably what it is. So yeah, we had a nice barbecue. I caught a bit too much sun. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, I have caught the sun well and truly on my shoulders. But I want to catch a little bit of sun because it always makes me feel a bit better and it's nice i love to catch a bit of sun and yeah so i thought right i'll do a little bit talky talky right now as i'm on the home stretch as you can see i've just literally made up i, I thought right i'll use some of the multicolors in this bit and i just doing random pattern and then here I did like I started off in one corner I did like a random pattern and then I just mirrored it on the other four and then just did a little random little pattern here and yeah nothing too fancy but I just thought something you know something a bit a little bit different and so so we obviously as I'm working my way from the outside in um it's obviously going to be the moment of truth when i get here to see if i've messed up or not and they will fit in together so if not i will see what i can wrangle up with but yeah we'll, we will find out when we get there so i'm gonna do like another random pattern in the middle here and see just some random you know love of Gemma you just said random pattern about 10 times I think everyone knows exactly what you're talking about but yeah just doing something a little bit random but yeah you know, I just I don't really plan what I'm gonna do in the oh you know on these type of bigger projects I just literally I just make it up as I go along I really do but sometimes like at a patio table I absolutely love how that's come out and that was just random patterns all the way around the edges and everything so yeah that one's going to be not going to fit I haven't gone wrong anywhere. It just all of a sudden stopped lining up. Okay, it's a bit random. Oh, I'll spread them out a bit. Hide the evidence. No, you never saw that, did you? No. But yeah, it's so nice to get some nice weather. I haven't even 
managed to get obviously i got out of the garden earlier cut the grass again to cut mine and two of my neighbor's grasses just to you know when it does says neighbor you know she, she says oh no i do that i'm like no don't worry i don't mind i've got a petrol lawnmower it makes easy work out of it so and then the the chap who lives well he doesn't live across the road he's the landlord and he um obviously doesn't live close by and obviously last year during lockdown obviously it wouldn't be classed as essential travel him traveling to cut the grass where you know uh for the flat across the road so I, it was just staring at me and saying, cut me, cut me, please cut me. So I was like, right, I'm going to get out there and get a cut. And it was quite funny because he turned up the next day because it was quite high. It was good, like, three foot or something like that. And I was like, right, I'm going to get out there. I'm going to get that grass cut. And obviously he turned up the next day. <laughs> it was just typical. I was like, right, I'm going to get that grass cut because it needs it. Because the landlord doesn't live nearby, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go and get cut it. And he turned up the next day and he looked really confused because I was, I think I was weeding or something in the front garden and I walked over and went, uh, yeah, that was kind of me. I said, I was like, I guess I, I said, I kind of like thought that obviously with lockdown and everything, you couldn't get out to cull it so I thought I would just quickly go over at the lawnmower and everything and it was quite nice because like last week he knocked on the door and to be honest I to the life of me I like I recognised him but I couldn't think who on earth he was to sound bad I just you know you you like I know you but I can't think where from and he said oh I'm not I'm the landlord I said like, oh god yeah 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 sorry about that he's like yeah and he brought me some the chocolates to say thank you for cutting the grass bless him so yeah, that was, that was a nice little surprise. You know, it's just little things like that to show that people appreciate what you do, you know. He didn't have to buy me any chocolates or anything. I didn't, you know, I wasn't doing it for anything. I was just doing it, you know, just to help because he lives, what, he lives about 30 miles away or something. So he doesn't live, like, close by. So I thought I'd just be nice and cut the grass for him. You know, just try and help out and everything. Because I know that, obviously, I know it's like for me, time and everything. I, my garden's nowhere near where I want it to be. But obviously, where I'm now doing videos, that takes out some of my garden time. So today I was like, right, I'm going to get out of that garden. I'm going to get a load of it done. And... Yeah, I was like, I really need to get that garden done. Or well, some of it. Because I am in... So, what was it? Last week I started... Uh, was it last week? Yeah, last week I started... De-weeding my veggie patch. Because my veggie patch is a right state at the moment. It is terrible. And, well, last week it was even worse. It was just, like, loads and loads of weeds. And, oh terrible so i've got corn i've got to put in i've got tomato plants cucumber uh what else um cucumber pumpkins sweet corn i said sweet corn, i'm not sure peas so i've got a lot i need to get into that old veggie patch and i was just like right okay i'm gonna get out there i'm gonna get cracking for a bit so that's what I did last week. Got a lot of weeding done. Today I um, cut all the grass. Did some planting in some of my plant, plants. Planting some some of my plants. I did some on my pots. So I like to have some pots on my doorsteps. So the ones I hadn't put stuff in yet, I did that. And yeah, so I did that, and then before I knew it, because I slept rubbish last night, I was just like, I was still up at three o'clock, well, about half two ish, and I was just 
because I couldn't sleep. It's, you know what it's like, all those days you just can't sleep. So I was just like, right. So I ended up like staying up and doing a bit more of this and then getting to bed about stupid time. So I didn't get up to like 10. And that's like obviously really late for me. And obviously I got up in a panic because I realised it was 10 o'clock and I thought, oh my God, the cat's medication. That my husband, bless him, had already done her. So I got up in a panic for nothing. <laughs> He's a good husband, he really is. So yeah, we had a lovely barbecue. And then obviously, because um, we hadn't built the barbecue yet. So I had to build the barbecue up and everything. And he'd come out and help me and everything. So yeah, he is a good husband. You right, babe? Yeah. Do you want me to make a tea? He's that good. He's making me a tea. Thank you, babe. So, yeah, it's been a really nice day today. You know, it's, I do try to get out and enjoy the weather. And then, like, in the... What do you call it? In the um, summer months, like, in the summer holidays and all that, when the kids are off school... Me and me, last year, we, me and my sister, um, so me, my husband, my sister, her other half, and my nephews, we like to go down to, we went down to one of the local beaches here, and we just spent the evening crabbing and enjoying it and everything, and just having a really lovely chill evening you know we love crabbing i've i've did crabbing when i was a kid and we'd spent hours doing that when we were little and i mean we'd spend all day we'd get there like i used me and my, my older brother I used to go down the beach with my nan and granddad and we used to get there pretty early so we can get the decent spots for crabbing and everything. And, oh, we absolutely and utterly loved it. You know, we'd spend hours crabbing. All day we'd spend it doing it. We'd have a while of, a, you know, just so much fun just crabbing all day. All day long. You know, that's... We were just so happy. To do it. My granddad would go by on the way to the beach. He'd pop into the butchers and like the butchers used to like used to give some scraps of meat and everything. And he he used to just ask for a donation in the old charity thing. So and then we used to spend all day crabbing. And do you know what? That's some of my favourite memories as a child. Just crabbing all day long. You know, just, and that'll be like memories we I'll have for years, and that's what you know. And hopefully, like memories of my nephews are gonna have of me and my husband growing up will be these evenings. And I actually said to my sister earlier, like she asked how the barbecue went because we had a bit of a bit of a bit of a disaster moment. We grabbed some coal that was in the barbecue section and obviously just stuck in the barbecue and try to light it, everything else, nothing would work. So we're like, oh, what the hell's going on here? And then um, we, in the end, we're going to check the packet and he said, Jim, this is for indoors, for like the coal fires that you have indoors. And I was like, so why on earth are they selling a coal that's meant to be for indoor use in the barbecue section so i said to simon i said you know what we are going back there tomorrow and we're taking it back and we're demanding our money back because that is not on whatsoever you know they should really not put chuck you know coal whatever it is, you know, for the barbecues. And it's not meant for barbecues. With the barbecue stuff, so 
yeah, I was not impressed by that. And my poor husband felt so bad. So he had to go back down Tesco to get some proper stuff. You know, stuff you just like the bag. So yeah, we got there in the end. And I always like pre cook the and I pre cook the chicken and everything. So obviously when we realised that we had to wait a bit longer, we I just it was already in the oven, so I just turned the oven down and kept it warm until the barbecue was ready to go, really. But no, we had a lovely little barbecue. Had my nana granddad round and said to me mum, she'd come round because my dad was, he works on like lorries and all that. So he doesn't all, he's not always home. So I, um, what do you call it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... I can't remember the word I'm looking for. I um, oh, I can't think of the word. So yeah, he says out a lot. So I said to me mum, right, if you want to come for a barbecue, we're gonna do a nice, you know, nothing too fancy or nothing, you know, just a little barbecue and do it that way, you know. But yeah, it was nice. So had a nice time. Nice. A nice little bit of a catch up and everything, and sitting out in the garden. I can't wait to get my garden, garden, garden enclosed because at the moment my neighbour, like she would just stand across the road and just watch me all day long, and I don't like it. It actually, it just creeps me out and everything. So. I can't wait to get my garden enclosed and get some privacy because it, it's really, really creepy. She just stands there and she just watches everything I do. And it's just like, mm, you know, I just, it, it, it just, I just feel like I'm in a goldfish bowl because she's watching me. So, yeah, once I get that a little bit more private, I feel a lot better. Like, where am I at? Let me just, just check. 18. Right, I'm going to cut it here because I've been jabbering on way, 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 way too long. Otherwise, it's going to be another nightmare video to try and cut. So, yeah, I'm going to stop jabbering and carry on and then do the old reveal because i'm nearly done so i'm gonna finish it get this finished and show you guys the finished result all right i'll catch you back in a second <laughs> I use this type of varnish as well for all my outside projects and do you know what it does a really good job of keeping things you know I put it on its side but I put obviously the front facing upwards so any drips isn't going to go onto the front and something underneath to catch the excess drips and I also propped it up on a brick so then it it's got some drip space so it doesn't get stuck to the the board I put on the floor. Now what I'll do, I'll start from the top. And I've removed all the mirrors, all the mirror pieces, so I don't have to worry about getting varnish on them.
And all I do is just cover the whole thing. a bit of my hair in yes I did and it's just a case of covering the whole thing and then stick the the um the mirror bits back on like either like dab a little bit of super glue there or have a little bit of double sided tape will do the trick but I don't have to worry about you know getting it on the actual mirrors by just by removing them I go both directions because I find that you get any more even cover. Skip to time lapse just to do this last little bit. Right, so that's all sealed now, and so I've got to give it a bit of time to dry, and then I can get the drawers back in and do the final reveal, you know. So, yeah, so I shall catch you back in a minute. I'm just one little teeny bit there. So it obviously it looks a bit cloudy at the moment, but it will dry clear. So yeah, I shall catch you back when it's dry. My chest of drawers is done. What do you guys think? I am really, really pleased with how it's come out. I think it, it just looks totally different. Yeah, I've, all the drawers are different. It's not perfect, but I still think the final result looks really good. And the top, I'm really pleased with as well. I think it's, it's just, completely different again like you know me you know patio table I did just all random patterns and everything and I'm really really pleased with the outcome so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the camera up and show you guys all over and then do the outro all right So, what do you guys think? I think oh, I think I've done a pretty good job of this. Really, really pleased. That is actually a. a I just realised it's a dirty drill there. Well, it's not dirty, but it's like got in the dye lot. Something's thing gone wrong, but it's all right. It doesn't. I can't do nothing about that now, anyway. But yeah, really pleased with it and everything. So it looks completely funky and everything. Really pleased with how it's come out. And as you can see, the varnish has dried completely clear. 
so it doesn't affect the overall outcome. Yeah, really pleased with it. Here we are with my chest of drawers. What do you all guys think? I think it's come out really nice. I really do like it. And yeah, really, really pleased how it's come out. I do like the colours on it. I like that it's all different and everything. Yeah, I could have gone all same and safe, but those of you who've been watching me for a while, I do know I do like to go a bit crazy at times on some things. So yeah, really, really pleased how it's come out. I think it looks fab. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you think because I'm really interested to see what everyone else thinks about this. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe for more mad ideas from me to diamond paint because, yeah, this is another pretty crazy idea. But yeah, I, I'd like to come up with different ideas. So yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out. So yeah, so and so are we on to another project, must be not another big project like this again for a little while, uh, but you know, there will be more big projects coming up, so yeah, thank you ever so much for watching and I shall see you on the next video, bye everyone.